Welcome to our Hearts for Learning Maths Games. This game is one more, one less. We're going to play a game today where we're going to practice uh, finding one more, one less in our numbers. So decide on a number range. We're going to practice our tricky teen numbers today. So I've drawn out a number line from 10 to 20. You could do 0 to 10 if you wanted to. So the idea of the game is that you have you start in the middle of your number line and each player has a counter or something that they can move up and down their number line. We've chosen to use a dolphin and a seahorse. So can you put our dolphin and our seahorse on our number line so they're both pointing at 15? Okay. We've then made a mat that we're going to throw an object onto and that will decide whether we're going to find one more or one less. So we've drawn some circles or shapes on a piece of paper. This would work really well outside, drawing this out on the patio or on the uh, pavement outside your house and drawing big circles and throwing something like a bean bag or something else that's sort ball. of- A ball. Well, a ball would roll, something that would- A cone. A, a, something that would sort of splat, I guess is the best way to describe it. So we're actually gonna throw a little gem onto it today and decide. So. Each person who plays the game has to decide which number they are heading towards. So do you want to head towards 10 or do you want to head towards 20? 20! Okay, so you're going to be the, the seahorse and you're going to try and head towards 20. So which of our patches on our mat do you want to land on? Add one, one more, one more. Um, and none of us, because they always take me down. So they would take, so you're heading up the number line, and I'm the dolphin, and I'm going to be heading towards 10. So I'm going to want to land on one less. Take away one, one, and I've written the one in less in words. So you'll see on the mat, I've varied the vocabulary and how the numbers are represented, just to vary it up a little bit. Right, are you going to throw your gem on and see what you land on? You've landed on one more. You're heading in the right direction. So take your gem off. I'm going to throw my gem on now. Oh no, I've also landed on one more. I am now heading in the wrong direction. I want to be heading towards 10, but I'm heading towards 20. One more again. So what number were you on? I was on 16 and I added one more to go up to 17. Excellent. Right, take yours off. Let's see if I can get a... Uh, uh, one that moves me down the number line this time. Oh, miss, I'll roll again. Oh no, I've got another one <laughs> yeah. more. I'm definitely not going on there. So six, I'm on 16, one more than 16 is 17. Come on, I want to be going down the number line, not up. Right, you throw again. Ooh, oh, I think you're on take away one there. So you're on 17, you're going to take away one, you're now on? 16. Right. This way, we're both going to be going... Oh, I've got another add one. No, that's one less. Oh, no, let me roll and throw it again. Yay, one less. So, again, I'm on 17. I'm going to find one less, which is 16. Your turn. Oh, one less. I'm going back down. So, what were you on and where are you now? I was on 16 and one less than 16 is 50. Right, so take your gem off. Let's see if I can get a one less one. Yay. So same. I'm back where I started. I'm back at 15. One less than 16 is 15. Well, throw again. Yay, one more. So can you say where you were and where you've gone to? 15 and one more than 15. I know is 16. Excellent, my turn. Oh no, one more again. 15 and one more is 16. Right. Say what you've done. I was on 16 and I added one more to 17. Good but girl. I actually got one more, but I did add one. Does that mean the same? Yeah. Yeah, finding one more or adding one is doing the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no. I've That's got one less. 
one less, okay, my pointy bit. So I was at 16, I'm going to find one less, which is 15. Try again. <laughs> okay. So what have you done? I was on 17 and I jumped one space to get to 18. Excellent, lovely. Yay, take away one. So 15, take away one is 14. Oh, my dolphin's fallen over. You've got one less. Going up and down like a lunatic. So is this right? 17 is one less than 18. Yes. Yeah, different way of saying it, isn't it? Let me have another go. Oh, what arm on one more? 14, one more is 15. Your go. Yeah, that's on what add one. Up again. So what have you done? Oh I went up one. So seventeen add one is eighteen. My go, let's see if I can get a less one again. That's mm. a less. Okay. Fifteen so sort of fourteen is one less than fifteen. Yay. One more. I think I'm going to beat you. You <laughs> think so? 18 and one more is 19. How many more have you got to go to get to 20? One more. <laughs> one more. Let me see if a I. A big jump to approval. Oh. Sorry. That was takeaway one. Is that? So 13, takeaway one. No, 14, uh, takeaway take one, one is 13. Go on, let's see if we can get you one more. Throw it again. That's one less. No, it was add one, wasn't it? Roll, roll, roll it once more. Okay. Because it was a bit in between, wasn't it? Yay. So, Up to approval. So Ellen has done 19, add one, which is 20. She's got to her target number, so she's won the game. Well done. Here's a reminder of how to play one more, one less. So you'll need your number line. In the game you've just seen, our number line was 10 to 20, but you could have a number line 0 to 10 if you wanted to, or we've got some other alternatives later on in the video. You need your markers to move up and down the number line. You need your one more, one less mat. Now, as I said in the video, it's quite good if you do this outside and draw it out onto the pavement or onto your patio and then you've got a bigger area for you to throw your item onto your mat. Or you can do it on a piece of paper like we did and throw a small object onto it. When you're playing the game, remember you start with both the counters at the midpoint of the number line and you decide which end you're heading for. You take turns to throw your item and you follow the instructions of what you land on. The player who reaches their end of the number line first is the winner. What maths this game supports? It helps with the practice and rehearsal of finding one more and one less. This also then of course supports order at the order of the numbers. As we're using a number line, it helps with the children's understanding of the magnitude of the numbers, where those numbers sit on the number line. Because throughout the game you're constantly trying to work out how far you are from your goal, you're always calculating the difference between the number that you're currently on and your target number. So as well as finding one more and one less, you're actually doing lots of calculation at the same time. The other aspect the game supports is all the different variations in the language that we can use when we talk about one more, one less. When finding one more and one less, how this said can vary. We could say 16 is one more than 15. We could also say, one more than 15 is 16. We could also say, 15 and one more is 16. These subtle variations in language can confuse children, especially between the top two. Let's think about one less now. So we could say, one less than 16 is 15. We could also say, 15 is one less than 16. And finally, we could also say 16 and one less is 15. We probably wouldn't say that last one because it sounds slightly clunky and unusual. 
But when you're playing the game with your child, try and say as many different variations as possible so the children get familiar with all of them. Other variations in language can also be practiced while playing the game. So let's think about all the different ways that we could say one more. We could say add one. We could say plus one. We could put this into a sentence and we could use the and one. So we could say 15 and one is 16. We could talk about the total that we're making. We could either use the word total or we could use the word altogether. So for example, we could have altogether 15 and one is 16 or 15 add one totals 16. So there's many different ways of varying the way of saying one more. Let's think about one less. We could use take away one. We could also say one fewer. One fewer is actually the correct way of saying it. We actually shouldn't say one less, but we do and children are very familiar with that. But do also talk about one fewer. We could also use the word minus and we could say 16 minus one is 15. Similar with subtract, we could use 16, subtract 1 is 15. Or we could use longer sentences which include the, the word equals in. So I have 15, when 1 is taken away from it, it equals 14. When playing the game, try and include as much variation in language as possible so the children become familiar with all the different ways of saying one more and one less. Thank you for watching another Hearts for Learning maths game. Don't forget to follow us at Heart Maths on Twitter. Sign up to join our Essential Maths Facebook group and you could subscribe to our YouTube channel where there's many more videos with lots of other games that you can play with your children.